I am on the Salik, member of the UNCC Board of Trustees. So in the name of the Almighty God, so we affirm that I will be faithful and be a true allegiance to Uganda National Cultural Center and that I will preserve, protect and defend the institution. So help me. I, Moses Sali, member of the UNCC Board of Trustees, swear that I will at all times well and truly serve the Republic of Uganda as a board member and that I will support and uphold the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda as by the law established. So, member of the UNCC Board of Trustees, I swear that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal any matter of any person which shall be brought under my consideration or shall come to my knowledge the discharge my official duties by itself as may be required, the discharge of my official duties or as may be specifically permitted by the President. So help me go. Board of Trustees, swear that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal any matter to any person which shall be brought under my consideration or shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my official duties, except as may be required for the discharge of my official duties or as may be specifically permitted by the President. So I, Elian Kabazi, member of the UNCC Board of Trustees, swear in the name of the Almighty God, solemnly affirm that I will be faithful and bear, bear true allegiance to Uganda National Cultural Center and that I will preserve, protect, and defend the institution. So I hope you I, Elian Kabazi, member of the UNCC Board of Trustees, swear that I will at all times well and truly serve the Republic of Uganda as a board member, and that I will support and help uphold the constitution of the Republic of Uganda as by the law established. So help me. The UNCC Board of Trustees said that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal any matter to any person which shall be brought under my consideration or shall come to my knowledge and the discharge of my official duties, except as may be required for the discharge of my official duties. All as with this specific committed by the president. So help you. I, Bujiko Hamilton, member of the UNCC Board of Trustees, swear in the name of the Almighty God, Solomon the Affirm, that I'll be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Uganda National Cultural Center and that I'll preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution. So, help me I, Bujimo Huntington, member of the UNCC Board of Trustees, swear that I will, I will at all times well and truly serve the Republic of Uganda as a board member and that I will support and uphold the constitution of the Republic of Uganda as by the law established. So, help me go. Swear that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal any matter to any person which shall be brought under my consideration or shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my official duties, except as may be required for the discharge of my official duties or yes. as may be specifically permitted by the president. So help you. I, Philip Gera, Vice Chairman of the UNCC Board of Trustees, swear in the name of the Almighty God, strongly above that I will, faith, I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Uganda National Health Center, and that I will preserve, protect, and defend the institution. So help me God. I, Philip Gera, Vice Chairperson of the UNCC Board of Trustees, swear that I will at all times well and truly serve 
the Republic of Uganda as a board member and that I will support and uphold the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda as by the law established. So help me. They have disturbed you, my colleagues. That you have never got tired of us. I would like to thank you and the team of our Minister of the General and Social Development. They have really been there for us. We disturbed you on the phone, in the office, but you've been patient with us. And uh, thank you so very much. Uh, I would like to thank uh, both for today. What are they to witness? Seeing our comrades. I have a daughter who, who, who is. Uh, an actor in a Rainbow International. I think a month or so ago, Rainbow International went to National Theatre. We were there to act. Then when she came back home, then she told me, Mom, you are the minister in charge of National Theatre. I saw your picture there. How could you make us perform in that bad place? <laughs> And I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Are you not, because you people, you children of these days, you are used to good things. And for us, that is very good. So they challenged me so much that uh, uh, I want to uh, work out um, the mechanism. Uh, there is some financing, I'm not going to disclose from where, that can make us win very that. We want a national theatre where people walk in and they are happy and they know when they, when they perform there and they send their pictures abroad and anywhere, that picture and their performance can be picked for an award internationally. So that is the first thing I would wish I talk about the detail, but let us work out to make sure that we do something that makes national because that is the embodiment that they, they have if you want to innovate the hub of innovation for artists is national theater showcasing is national theater so please mm -hmm. let us do something so that by the time we leave uh, people will remember that there was something great that happened in the museum and the creative industry so I, I want an artist to close, I can't see someone that can close us more than the one who is leading the Federation. I know him well because he has been disturbing me, disturbing the President, disturbing everybody about all these issues. Um, when he wanted to register the Federation, we came, we worked together, and over the period, a number of musicians from the sub-regions have been coming and meeting with the with the Eddie and his group and they have been working. They have been working, whatever challenges, uh, the world is for all of us. The country is for all of us. There is no there is a, uh, nobody is perfect. The most important thing is we stick that we want this industry to be organized. This be right for that. We look at the bigger picture. That's Every time I want to tell people that, I tell people, for me, if I'm doing something, I will not, I will not stop doing it because somebody has criticized me. I will not stop because somebody hates me. I will not stop, even if I don't agree with you on a matter, but you have the talent that I can use to achieve the bigger picture. I will forget about the small things and move to the bigger picture with that person. I want to invite the president to say the last word, close us, then we can go for the picture. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. First and foremost, I would like to thank His Excellency President, Build of Two, Chairperson of the Uganda National Cultural Center Board of Trustees, swear in the name of the Almighty God, solemnly affirm that I'll be faithful and bear true allegiance to Uganda National Cultural Center and that I will preserve, protect, defend the institution. So I have been brought. Any person, we shall be brought under uh, my consideration or shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my official duties, except as 
may be required for the discharge of my official duties or as may be specifically permitted by the president. So help me God. I, Komakechu Richard, member of the UNCC Board of Trustees, swear in the name of the Almighty God, so I found that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Uganda National Cultural Center and that I will preserve, protect, and defend the institution. So help me God. <laughs> member of the UNCC Board of Trustees, Swear that I will at all times well and truly serve the Republic of Uganda as a board member and that I will support and uphold the constitution of the Republic of Uganda as by the law established. So help me God. Well, Mr. Mayanya Joseph as a member. Oh, it's on the way. We have um, Baba Zililian as a member. We have uh, Mr. Moses Sali as a member. We have Mr. Komakech Richard, Dr. Komakech Richard. Sorry. Then we have Congratulate each one of this appointed team. I have worked with them in my silent way. I know all of them, each one of them. It has been a contribution from several people to bring this team together. And each of them brings a unique perspective to this board. I want to congratulate you. The Minister of State, Honorable Mutuji, sends up fellow greetings and congratulations. I was with her recently for a meeting with the US, but she will be in Canada for yet another important event and function uh, representing us. Uh, she is not able to be with us today. But she's with us, and you know she has been with you in the trenches and working very closely, not only with the, the team that are outgoing and incoming, but others in the entertainment industry. I want to welcome the president of the federation, for accepting to be with the team. And you are your team that you worked so hard to help us and support us to start moving towards ensuring that post COVID we will organize this industry. I'm so proud with the, the work I see through all the domains and most of the domains. Recently, I was with the team of the four people to organize a very be elegant firm awards. And that is where I realized that uh, we actually 
because in our city and in our phones and everything, music dominates. Uh, I had not known that actually the film industry is also that big local. So you can see that Uganda is in their unique ways are doing wonderful things in this industry. And uh, this industry is a lot When I entered in our small meeting this morning in this team, and uh, I, I entered and I saw another person sitting there, so I asked, who is this? And then the uh, lady said, that's my person. So then I realized that that's a bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> Then I'm like, how many people do you employ? Because I see you people when you're moving, people are with you. those who are on social media, those who are in this. So one individual alone walking out of his or her room is already employing maybe a minimum of five people. And in a living from one artist. Then the chain is bigger. Those who are in the studio. Those who are screenwriters, those who are um, promoters, managers. Someone was telling me about managers, how you can perform when no manager does not perform. So I am learning so much and I've learned so much over this short period that actually sometimes you don't even control yourself. Somebody else will control you, will control the money, will control the everything. We have the IT section and the other day I was uh, with someone whose job is only to put sound into your music, sound into the film. That is his job. And he told me his investment is past two billion. Just sound, sound, two billion plus. And he told me I can do 57 people. That is the one I can do. But when I'm moving out, to go and put my sound for people to perform, the people are employed much, much more. So you can see that when you look at countries abroad, you go to Bollywood, you go to Bollywood, you go to... I see now Korea as an as emerging industry. When you go to these countries, um, the music industry, the film industry, the other domains, are driving the So why am I saying this? I am saying this because the mandate of pushing this industry to drive the economy is with the board. Under the law, the board is the one that comes with a strategic plan, with a vision, with a mission, with the activities. What do you want to change? It's you people who are pushing us on the issue of populism. Every day we were with the Attorney General. Now Attorney General told me it is done, he has moved with it, and he doesn't want problems in the printing industry. So you can see that people now don't want to have problems with him. <laughs> but why? Because you have profiled your sector, you profiled it, you have uh, made it visible. The other day we were in a special cabinet <coughs> for budgets. And, and, and I remind the cabinet that uh, pledge to me, pledge to the industry that we're going to put a budget to support the industry. And after a lot of discussion, I can assure you of the strategic plans in the budgets which the president articulated after my presentation on the issue of, of the music industry. The president said the first piece and security Three standard, two standard railways, three infrastructure, four music and creative industry. So human capital development is now under, is below, is number five. Human capital development is health, is, is education, is skilling and all that. The president said, no, we need to support this industry. If you support this industry, it is an industry that is going to propel this economy because it is a service industry. So with that goodwill, I don't want to 
to say, but at least the president said there should be money that should be put. There was some money that was put there, but he directed PSST to increase the money that was there after prioritizing it to be number four. So I, I hope and I know that in this budget, we are going to have some money that the board should now sit and start looking at what, what is our strategy. We have other partners that are willing to come and support us. European Union, UNDP, German Embassy, Danish Embassy, there are many, many other players, donors, that want to support us. But people do not support you without you putting your strategic needs in paper. So the board, as you have for me, mine is to wait and say, as a board, we have sat. This is what we want to do in the music industry. This is what we want to do in the film industry. This is what we want to do. For market, what is it was? Indigenous knowledge. Indigenous knowledge. Is that the one of does it include that Culture national heritage. So all those we have about is it said they know nine domains. Nine domains. So all this. The other day I was with two two people. I went to German and I found a Ugandan um they call it to these people who draw then they do all sorts of things. I found a Ugandan artist in the museum in Dresden in German displaying art and craft in that museum in the German. I was in Italy. I found a Ugandan lady. What's her name? A child, Pamela. Internationally acclaimed. She has so much international awards just for doing the art and sculpture and all that and display, and display in an exhibition in Italy. So you can see that if you people work hard, Ugandans have struggled and made their mark already in several areas, in very many areas abroad. It is now due to push them. There are Ugandans here who have so much talent that it is leadership that pushes them. You acquire leadership, not for yourself. You acquire leadership to drive an agenda, to drive a cause. And you can't drive a cause when you don't consult your people. I would request you that please, while you develop strategic plan, consult those people who are struggling in the music industry, in the film industry, in all the domains, let them give you inputs. What is it that they want to see that will drive the industry? Once you do that, once you congregate the needs of the people and it forms your strategy, your work plan, then you are going to have very few discontents from the public. You come in the office at a time where there are so many discontents, there is also some disunity, and I expect that you will put, your, um, you put yourself into a situation where you sit, think through it, find a mechanism of uniting the industry. Because for us as a ministry, our role is to ensure that this industry is funded, it has the policy and legal framework to make you propel, innovate, create, monetize, and have the, 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 the money, the outcome should benefit you who has created your content. That's why we are now talking about copyright. How do we protect your copyright? How do we protect those that you have invented? That's our work as but I'm not able to do that if you don't tell me you amend this area. Adjust here. Take this policy. Me and your servants. It's you to tell me what you want. Once you tell me what you want, I'm going to go out there and I can pledge to you. I'll put all my efforts 
will put all the things I can do to push your agenda forward. So I leave it to you to ensure that uh, you work hard because the ministry uh, is a bridge that connects and a culture is a powerful tool. It connects us with the past, with the present, and projects us to the future. It defines the culture of a country. It defines the identity of a country. So when somebody travels from abroad and listens to Ugandan music or watch Ugandan film, that Uganda from which is in the culture of Uganda, the food of Uganda. Then I saw documentaries of where uh, the beauty of Uganda. Culture is able to sell a culture in a powerful way. So it is you to be steadfast and use this board to ensure that we achieve what we want. I know that team is very. Um, focus and, and I hope that they will work together and ensure that we do the biggest. With that, I want to thank you, congratulate you, and now hand over to Ms. Worship. I hand over to the council to take us to the next level. Thank you very much.